Welcome to another episode of Get Fit with Tam and Des. Today for equipment, all you're going to need is a bench or a sofa, coffee table, whatever it is you have available. Uh, we have a few different exercises for you. Full body workout. We're going to start with the upper body and core. So what we'll do is we'll come up beside the bench and we're gonna take this to a plank. So if you wanna start from the side, I'll come from behind. So take your hands, shoulder width apart, abs tight, drop your hips down so that your shoulders, hips, and heels are all in alignment with each other. Try not to hold your breath. We're just gonna hold our body here. Contract your abdominals and just hold that plank. So let's hold this plank for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds and then after those 30 seconds, we'll shake it out, take a little bit of a rest and then we'll pop into some push-ups. So when we do the push-ups, we're going to start from this position. All right, let's shake it out. And then with the push-ups, abs tight, hands shoulder width apart. Try and keep your hips in line with your spine. So try not to arch them up behind your back. Tuck them in nice and low. And then as you lower, you can lower our chest to the ground. Exhale as you lift. Let's see if we can do 10. So there's 10. Abs tight. Four more, nice and low. There's a three, you got it. Last one should be tough and shake it out. All right, catch your breath. Take your like a 30 to 40 second break in between. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this into tucks. So we'll come down onto our bench, coffee table chair, whatever it is you have available. And we're gonna sit on the end of our bench with our hips and just lean back until you feel that contraction through your core. Take your hands on either side of your body. Lift your knees up, taking your feet up off of the floor. And we're gonna pull our knees in towards our chest for 12. Don't forget to breathe. Work that core. Last five, exhale as you bring your knees up towards your chest. Do a few more and shake it out. All right, next thing, we'll take our hands down by our side. When we do these dips, lift up, keeping your abs tight, but keep your bench nice and, or sorry, your back nice and close to the bench. A lot of times when people do this, I'll see them take their hips way out in front and do these dips. I could do that with like one hand. That's super easy. So you want to keep your back nice and close. Almost feel your back touching the bench the whole time. Take your elbows, dart your elbows right behind. Try not to let them flare out to the side. And then exhale as you lift. Working the triceps here. So let's do 10 more. Exhale as you lift. Last five, five, four, <laughs> last three, two, and one. Shake it out and grab a drink if you need one. Do whatever you need to do and we're gonna run through that again. Let's start from the top. We'll start from that plank. So abs tight, hands uh, shoulder width apart. Make sure when you're doing this, your hips aren't all the way up. You wanna drop your hips down so your shoulders, hips, knees, and heels are all in alignment with each other. Try not to hold your breath and we'll just hold that plank. So if you'd like to make that a little bit harder, you can take one leg and pop it up on top of the other if you'd like. I'll hold for 30 to 40 seconds. 
We'll do 10 more seconds. Here's a four, three, two, one. Shake that out. Catch your breath. Not that you're holding your breath. You weren't holding your breath, but it happens. And into that push up. So, how many? 12, 15, 10. We'll do 10. Here we go. 10, 9, 8. Looks good. 7, 6. Last three, two, and one. All right, should be getting nice and warm. We'll take that into some tucks. Next, so abs tight, lean back until you feel that contraction. Take your hands down by your side, lift your knees so your heels are up off of the floor and pull your knees in towards your chest. Four more. Last two. And last one. And shake that out. We'll flip it around to the front. Last one. We'll take that into some dips. So again, make sure that your back stays nice and close to the bench. If you'd like to make this a little bit harder, you can pop one leg up on top of the other for some core stability, or you can take that leg straight out. And 12. Four more. Last two. And last one. Shake it out, grab a drink if you need a drink, and we'll be back right after the break. Welcome back to Get Fit, everybody. Before the break, we did some exercises for your upper body, and now we're gonna focus on your lower body a little bit, still with the bench, so Again, you can use a chair, you can use a coffee table, you can use your sofa, any elevated surface, even a stair. You can use your staircase at home. Um, and this first movement is one of the most important movements you can do throughout your entire life, and it's a squat. And it's funny because I think we both hear a lot of the time people say, oh, well, I can't squat. And that's an excuse. And don't worry, because I used to be that person. I had an old uh, knee injury, and I said, oh, I can't squat. So I just avoided it. However, it's a very crucial exercise, and when you think about it, we do it every single day. Anytime that we sit down in your bed, in your chair, we're doing, essentially, a squat. Sometimes it's gonna be a little bit lower, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit higher. So, this first exercise, is what we're gonna do is called a sit to stand squat. So find your surface and you're just gonna simply sit down, stand up. Super easy. And we wanna do that 10 to 12 times. So you wanna make sure you're actually sitting down every single time and not just hovering your butt over that ledge. So we actually want to fully sit down, shift that weight back, and stand up. You should feel your leg muscles light up if you're standing up, and then just push that weight all the way through your feet. So whole foot in contact with the floor, you don't want your toes coming up. So we'll do two more, all the way up and down, perfect. Awesome. Now this next one is just a little bit more challenging than the last one. And there's two levels of how you can do this one. So it's what is called a Bulgarian split squat. 
I'm gonna assume that's where it was invented in Bulgaria somewhere or who knows. So what you wanna do is you wanna put one foot on the bench, stair, whatever you're using, right straight behind you. And I won't lie, to get the positioning correct, you're probably gonna have to do a little bit of a jump everywhere until you find that sweet spot. But you wanna find your balance, find your sweet spot, and then all we're gonna do is sink down while we balance. So it's super handy if you have something near you, like a railing, you can use that as a bit of a balance point. But ideally we wanna to work to be able to balance on that foot. And you can do whatever you want, put your arms out to the side, put them on your hips. I suggest finding a spot right on the floor ahead of you or a wall and just focus in on it. Good, and that's switch legs. So you wanna do about six to 10 on each leg. Do the little hop, skip, jump. And same thing. And what is really gonna help you balance on this one is thinking of pushing your entire foot through the floor. So you don't want your toes coming up off the ground or heel. You want that whole foot in contact with the floor and just sink right down. Two more. Perfect. Now the third and final one. Something else we seem to do a lot of in a day is stepping, right? So again, you wanna find that elevated surface and you can do this one of two ways. It depends kind of what you wanna work. So the normal way would just be to step up and step back down. So you would step both feet up, step them down. And that's really gonna just target mostly your quads, a little bit of hamstrings and glutes. And this one, I would say time it. So you can time it for 30 to 45 seconds. But then if you wanna focus maybe a little bit more on that side here, that side booty, you can do a side step up. So come standing sideways to the bench and just bring one foot up and together. And as she does this, she wants to control that motion down. So she doesn't want to just fall down. She wants to try and control it as much as she can. Good. And we'll swap sides. So just stepping that one foot all the way down. And up. Perfect. And you can choose to do a step off with both feet like she's doing, or you can also just keep that foot on the bench and step up. Let's do three more. Good. Perfect. It's a lot of leg work, so shake it out. Take a little breather, and we're gonna take it around back to the top with that sit to stand squat. So obviously, if you wanna make this harder, you would lower your bench or stair, whatever you're doing. Find something that's a little bit lower that you can sit on, and that's gonna make this more challenging. Or if you have something like a weight at home, just a small dumbbell, you can take that dumbbell, hold it up by your chest, and add a little bit of resistance to it. So a few more, driving those hips forward as she comes up and sitting all the way down. Last two, good. And last one. Now we're back to that split squat. So we're gonna elevate that back foot, find that position, find that balance point, and sink down. And if this is too challenging, another way of doing this is just standing in the split squat position, not with your foot elevated, and just doing a pulse like that. So let's do two more. Really good posture and up. Let's swap legs. And remember six to 12 on each leg. 
And what's really gonna help you here is thinking about your core stability. So you wanna pull those abs in tight, focus on that spot just ahead of you, drop that knee down and push that foot into the floor. Three more. Now we're coming back to that step up. So remember, if you wanna kinda of work outside of your leg a little bit, and this is a really good one too, if you have had a knee injury and you feel like you have a little bit of instability, doing these lateral step ups are a great option. Or you can come up and just go straight on the bench, step it up that way. Either step both feet off or just one. Let's do two more. Get your arms into it, get a little bit of cardio workout going. Last one and let's swap sides. Perfect. And you can speed it up, you can slow it down, but just try not to really come down onto the floor Try and control that just a little bit. Last three. Good. We're gonna run through that one last time. Do three rounds of this. And then do a little bit of a cool down. So we're back to that sit to stand squat. So 10 in total. You wanna shift that weight back. Stand all the way up, stretch those knees. Five more. Fight through the burn. Last two, and last one. Good. And last time to that split squat, we're gonna do six on each leg. So really find that balance point six on each side dropping that knee down good positioning last two beautiful and swap sides so remember you can just stand in this position as well and pulse it out for six this is when it gets tough really drive through that whole foot two more and last one. All right, now we're at that last point. Back to that step up. So let's step it up. You can time it or you can count out reps as well. We're gonna count out reps. Eight on each leg, four to go. Control that down motion. Just push. <laughs> And let's swap sides. And a lot of these exercises, you might hear a lot of cracking and popping in your knees. Totally normal-ish. Don't worry about it. You just don't want it to cause you any pain. If it's causing you pain, it's a problem. But popping and cracking, you should be fine. <laughs> Three to go. Last one, good. And let's just stretch it out a little bit. So let's take advantage of the bench. Let's pop one leg up there, flip your toe up to the ceiling, and you're just gonna lean forward. And just stretch out that hamstring. So reach for your toe. Good, stand that up, swap sides. Just lean forward into it. Stretch out that hamstring. Reach for those toes. Good. And then if you have something you can hang on to, if it's a wall, it's a railing, you're gonna grab one foot, bring it up towards your butt, stretch out that front of the leg. We did a lot of Focus on those quads. 
Perfect, and we'll swap sides. You can also just try and balance there if you can. And drop it down. All right, thank you everybody for tuning in to another episode of Get Fit with myself, Desiree, and Tam. This is super simple. All you need is a bit of an elevated surface, so a coffee table, if you have a bench, a sofa, chair, anything. Or you can even buy a step if you want. Get a little riser and give it a shot. Full body workout. We'll see you guys next time.